Hi there folks, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use Mac Data Recovery software. Now if you have files that uh, you have lost, um, that maybe they were accidentally erased, deleted from the recycle bin, data that was lost due to a corrupt drive, or maybe reformatted your hard drive, or just files that have gone missing. Um, Contrary to popular belief, it is possible to get those files back as long as you use Mac data recovery software. I do recommend that you act as soon as possible. Um, although the files still exist on the lower levels of your hard drive, they can be overwritten at any time because there's nothing in place to protect them. Uh, so if you need to get these files back, I recommend you act as quickly as possible and use Mac data recovery software. So what we're gonna do first is go to the website www.recovering-deleted-files.net or simply click the link in the description box below. And here is the website. Uh, it's important that we're going to scroll down and select Mac Data Recovery right here. For those of you who click the link in the description box, that will bring you directly to this page and then we're going to scroll down and click download and this is going to download and uh, next you're going to install the software I already have the software so I won't be doing this step but simply follow the instructions and here is the software uh, first thing we're going to click is recover data and that's going to bring up a whole bunch of different options now this is really going to depend on um, what you need to recover and how you're doing it uh, I usually like to do quick recovery first. It's by far the fastest and uh, you can see if it's going to recover your data that way. Um, you can change this based on if you want to do photo recovery or iPod recovery. Raw recovery is more or less like a last ditch effort if um, none of these other recovery options work. Uh, also I want to show you a quick thing in the preferences. Um, if you do only want to recover, say, photos, you can actually select which types of photos you want to recover. This will really cut down on the um, how long it takes for the uh, scan to, uh, to go along. You can also change to uh, audio, so like, you know, if you just want to recover your MP3s, if you want to recover your videos, if you just want to recover certain types of documents. I would highly recommend um, selecting these in the preferences if you're just recovering certain types of files. So for the sake of time, we're just going to select uh, Quick Recovery because that's the fastest. And you just want to select your hard drive here and then click the next arrow button here. And here are the results. Uh, these are all the files that were, were recovered through the Quick Recovery option. I like to organize them by clicking here and that way you can select if you want to recover the videos, text files, photos, audio, whatnot. Uh, say you're just looking for a specific file, you can go inside and um, look for it. These are all JPEGs. If you want to recover one of these, you just click here and then click the recover button here and that will recover the file. One thing to keep in mind is that um, you want to recover the files to a directory that is on a different hard drive from the one you're currently on. So if you have an external hard drive, you could plug that in. If you have a second hard drive on your computer, you want to recover to that one because the software might not let you recover to the same drive that you're, you're scanning. Um, that's basically all there is to it. If uh, the files you're looking for aren't here. I recommend trying one of the other recovery options like deleted file recovery, formatted media, media lost file recovery, or raw recovery in the other in the uh, the previous options. Just keep in mind it's going to take a long time to scan, so you can either select uh, which files you want to recover or just scan overnight. Scan when you don't have to use your computer for a while because it might take uh, several hours. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if you want to use Mac file recovery software, just click the link in the description box below or visit the website www.recovering-deleted-files.net and select Mac recovery. 
And uh, when you do the scan, remember, you want to try the quick recovery first. If that doesn't work, then you can select any one of these options to get back to the files that you lost. So once again, just type in that address or click the link in the description box. Try it out. You get a free scan and uh, see if it finds anything. Good luck.